coming right up right now. We've it's got, got Justin from Cinemoco. <laughs> What's up, guys? Is How's that right? Going? Cinemoco. Jared. How Jared. Are you doing? How's nice to meet you. Yeah, so uh, our company is Cinetics, and uh, our new product is, is Cinemoco. Okay, which is, the, which the is company right is Cinetics. Correct. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we uh, launched our company last year with a product called Cineskates. Oh, yeah. I've got one of those. Right on. Yeah. How's it treating you? Love it. We <laughs> use it all the time. We do, like, for GeekBeat TV, we do all kinds of product reviews. So we'll put stuff on a, on a table, you know, with a cool background, and we'll just roll around and make video of it. Very cool. So uh, I guess I'll start off with uh, a product that we made that was an upgrade to, to Cineskates, which is the skate plate, which is this plate right here. It has some other stuff on it right now. But you can see that it uses uh, the same connection that... Hey, Cinescapes where's our little use. wireless? Uh, it, the wireless is getting set oh, up for getting, the next okay, thing. Sorry. Okay, go ahead. Cool. So this uh, this is a mini skate wheel. This is very similar to the Cineskates one. It's just a, a smaller one at a, at a lower price. Yep. Can you smell it? How does it smell? How does it smell? It smells like the 1980s. Perfect. And, it, and nice. you know, roller, roller yeah, skating roller at the derby palace. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cool. So this... Uh, this product right here is a brand new one of our three dollars that we have just launched uh, yesterday with the end of our Kickstarter project for Cinemoco. Okay. So we have three dollars. We have a mini dolly, a Cine dolly, and a Cinemoco dolly that range from uh, ninety-nine dollars to four ninety-five. Well, okay. Uh, before you go on, was Kickstarter an integral part in all of this? Did it help you guys get to the next get it level? Done. Oh, for sure. And that that actually went back to the first Cinescape project where we. Uh, launched that product on Kickstarter, and we built a huge following for our products and uh, got a lot of feedback on what people wanted to see, and it was really helpful. And what, and what that tells everybody out there is that there's a way to do anything on your own today. Oh, you yeah. can just make it happen. Oh, yeah. And you I can think, make it happen. I think the most important thing that he mentioned was he built a good product. They built a good product to start with, and then they had that base of customers that they could also turn and go back to and immediately say, hey, you like that? How about if we do the next thing for you? And they just hop on board, right? Totally. That's been hugely important, uh, keeping that connection with them and, and understanding what they want from us. Okay, so show us what this one does. All right, cool. So you can see it's uh, a, a pretty small little dolly. It's uh, bang for the buck. I don't think you can find a better dolly that can collapse and keep. you can carry with you, uh, and it does some pretty sweet moves. And what's neat is... Um, and I don't want to try and fold it all up right now because I haven't learned yet, but somehow on the back here, you just folded all these things down together and it was this tiny little, you could easily drop it in a backpack size. Totally. You can fit it, you can even break the wheels off of it and put it in your pocket. Um, but you can, whoops, Whoa. Sorry. Yep. It so, rolls really easily, by yeah, the way. So I'll, I'll show you that the, that's cool. how the, oh, okay. the arm just, folds in. Uh, do that. So these arms all collapse down and the wheels come off. And one of the really cool things about these products is that they're all modular. So you get this plate and these wheels and later uh, you decide you want to up, up your production a little bit and you can move on to something like, like the Cinemoco dolly. Yeah, let's see this thing. All right, so this guy does some pretty, pretty wild stuff. Uh, does some cool time lapse stuff and, and video moves. Oh, yeah. good God. I, can, I don't even know what it does yet. I already know I need one. Well, when he said time lapse, <laughs> yeah, that's, cinema, it just means it's going to move on its own and do something if it, for you. If that thing moves on its own and does a panning, to, oh, my God. So it does some pretty, pretty crazy stuff. Like That was just a simple video move. Uh, you can set it to go at, at any range of speeds. You can go uh, right now, who knows, it's probably going three or four centimeters a second. How does it do that? It's it's just the Magic. miracles of science. <laughs> so you, you that that's really cool. What uh, what other moves can you do with this? Cool. Let's show you one more. This is, that was a straight video move. We'll show you a uh, uh, what we call a shoot move shoot. Uh, so this is for time lapse where you can uh, shoot something, move, shoot. So you've got that nice slow mo movement exactly. time lapse thing that goes on. Those are beautiful. Right. So you can set it to fire the camera. Oh. Yeah, I right. hear it firing the camera. Yeah, so let's see. We've got our... Uh, will it control either Canon, Nikon? Will it control any camera? So, yeah, on our store you choose uh, which camera model you have, and we, we provide a different cable oh, okay. depending on which, which camera you have, and it'll, it'll cover a whole range of them. And some cameras have a built-in timer in them, so you can see right uh, now... It just, moved, it uh, just took a picture, it. and it's moving. It's Ever taking so a picture, slightly. and it's moving. So another really cool feature about this is you can see the, the wheels on here yes. are V-Groove wheels. Um, 
Here, I'll, I'll cut it off for you while you're... You see those wheels, folks? That means you can put it on some uh, rails or bars or something. Right, so we have a, a track that, that we sell with it as an additional option. So you can have a, a four-foot track that is infinitely expandable, and it collapses down into a two-foot bag so it fits in your backpack. That is so important That's because let's say you go out somewhere and you want to take some landscape photography with a nice... Um, slow motion, a slow stop motion thing. Well, the ground is rocky and crappy and stuff like that. So you need some, some smooth bars or surface that you can do that over. By the way, will it work up or down a grade? How strong is the motor? Right, so the motor is, is quite strong. Uh, it works better on a horizontal level just because it's not tied to the track. Yeah. Um, we did that for the reason and is because it's really cool to be able to get arcing shots. Oh yeah. Uh, on a tape like we are right now, we can set it up to do circles and, and whatnot. And one thing that we've had a lot of feedback on is people want to be able to do a straight vertical shot. And so we're working on components to add to it so that it can do that. Or even just a you know twenty degree kind and of incline. And it can incline. do slight, slight inclines up maybe ten degrees or so. So long as it doesn't get off balance because it'd be a little top heavy with your gear on there, right? Right, right. Yeah, yeah so it works pretty well. And I'll show you uh, one more feature that that it, people are pretty excited about, uh, and that's uh, keyframes. So what you can do is go on here, and I can have this turned on right now and set the position that it's in. So it's set to that point, and then I can. I can run it manually uh, to the end of the table right and here. Tell it where to go and, and where say, to stop. That's where I want to stop it at, and set that's that back. Cool. So now I'm right here, and I can just send it back to where it started at, uh, and I can go back and forth and repeat that move as many times as I want, which is really really cool for visual effects and uh, and stuff like that. Did you notice how confident he was that it wasn't going to roll off the table? <laughs> he that's just did that, and he wasn't even looking at it. Okay, I was nervous. <laughs> Like, what if it goes too far? I believed him. <laughs> it, it wasn't the first time I've done it. Well, yeah. let me, how about a, an app? Control it on an iPad yet? No, no, no. Not, everything's manual right here. Uh, a lot of people don't have iPads and, and iPhones or whatever, but we, we are working towards that. That's probably some, something we'll want to do in the future. But one thing is we have to have uh, the majority of this uh, controller right here is actually a battery. Um, so that has to be there anyway. So there's a, a, a rechargeable lithium-ion battery in here uh, that'll run for five hours. And you can stack more batteries on if you want to do a super long time lapse. Or What's the difference in price between the non-computerized one and the original? Okay, so this is the uh, the mini dolly, and in the configuration you see right here, minus the phone, it's ninety nine bucks. Uh, without the ball head and phone mount, it's seventy nine. By the way, can I just mention that this thing is really sturdy? Did you feel that? I mean, it's seriously, that's not cheap. No, like, it's not. That's not little cheapy plastic crap. Have, have you stood on it? Uh, you can't. I, I seriously think you could stand on that. Yeah, it's it, that strong. I mean, it's, it, it's heavy duty. That's so nice. anyway, 99 bucks. Yeah, and so then uh, this uh, Cinemoco dolly we have right here. Look at this. It's on its own. Uh-huh. <laughs> you don't even need a motor. It's got a brain. Why did we do that? <laughs> this All one right, right here. So this is 495 uh, and if you add a track that has some pretty cool uh, outrigger legs and you can set it up pretty much anywhere, that, that puts the system at 795 Okay. So it's complete motorized uh, slider and dolly for 795 If I already have a dolly, I mean, if I already have a slider that you know, has a different rig on the slider, but I've got rails and stuff, can I use that with it? I mean, are the, are the uh, wheels kind of adjustable in and out so that so they, they could adjustable. adjust to the size? It'd probably be hard to set it up on a different slider. You'd have to rig some things up, but you can definitely make some, some different adjustments on here. Uh, you can see on the back of the, the plate, you can set it in all kinds of... Uh, we mainly did this so using it on a table, you can, or wherever you are, you can... Uh, Set it up. Accommodate so, the size. Yeah, so stuff. you can work around objects on a table. One other question we had about the motorized one is regarding battery life. How long how long will it last? Okay, so this, what kind of battery does it use and how long will it last? It uses a uh, lithium ion battery. Comes with a charger and everything obviously, and it'll run for uh, more than four, more than five hours. Uh, just with the built-in battery. It also has a battery port, the same port that you charge with, you can connect uh, additional batteries onto it if you need uh, longer life than, than the five hours, the, the standard system. If I like wanted to do a 24 hour time lapse shot, but, but I wouldn't be taking the pictures as often, but you know, 
Um, right. it, w will it? Will the battery life? Would it? If if we weren't taking them, you can attach as often. whatever battery you want. Here, I'll tell you this: okay. you could plug a plug it into the wall. Oh, you set can. it to run. It'll go a, a move as small as a hundredth of a centimeter. You can go a hundredth of a centimeter every day for however long, plug it into the wall, and you can have a pretty rad time lapse. Okay, cool. <laughs> it sounds like a pretty robust system, okay. and it's not that expensive for what it offers you. Cool. Yeah. So that's that's definitely what we were going Send for. Send one to my door. We I'm were gonna going to be going. I'm going to be gro going broke as a result of my appearance at on this show on Photo, Photo Plus. Plus. Yeah. <laughs> it happens. So, I mean, no, that's I'm what definitely going to get one. Cool. No doubt yeah. about it. And we uh, the the other major uh, advantage of it is how how small it breaks down into. You can collapse the whole system down. You can have a 12 foot rail system that can collapse down into one, uh, your backpack. So yeah, you can awesome. go hiking and, and do your own shot and not have to have your crew with you and everything. And that's, that's awesome. That's kind of what we were going for. Oh, when are they available? Uh, they're available for, we actually, the Kickstarter campaign for pre-orders ended yesterday. And now we're taking pre-orders on our, on our store. Uh, the Kickstarter campaign was awesome. We did really well. We, uh, uh, exceeded our, we met our funding goal and passed it by, uh, I guess we were at 220, 230% of that's our That's awesome. Goal. That's awesome. Fantastic. That's really, really good. Yep. Yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's the whole, the, these three dollies. Uh, we have the, uh, I'll just say them again, the, the mini dolly, and then the, the dolly that uses the original Cineskates, which is similar to this one. It's a little bit more of a smooth roll, a bigger wheel. Yep. Uh, so that's the, the middle line, and then the Cinemoca one. So it's a set of three dollies that kind of cover uh, the needs for uh, the full spectrum of uh, filmmakers, and we're pretty excited about them, and uh, that's the story. I am, too. I, I like it. Cool, dude. I like it a lot. Thank you well, for bringing for it on. thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Good luck guys. with the rest of the show. Appreciate Go sell it. a bunch more. Absolutely. <laughs> right on. Hopefully we sold a few well, for you. One, is it the oh, only place they can get it online, or is it, are, is it in stores? Well, uh, they're, they're still just, they just finished the Kickstarter project. Well, I know that, but usually now, okay. if the, once a Kickstarter is done, there's usually another way to Right, right. So it. it's, a, it's a good question. So right now our pre-orders are just on our, on our store. And once we catch up with those, which hopefully will be in the next month or so, we'll, uh, we'll start giving out to our, to our retail partners, the B&H and Adorama and Amazon and uh, international partners also. But that'll probably be uh, the beginning of next year. Good to know. Cool. Cool. Thank you for coming on. All right. Thanks, thanks guys. Very dude. cool. Have a good show. Did you